Hey everybody, and welcome back to Team Viking! Yep! And you're here today with... Alex and Zoraeb! Yeah! We're playing Ink? Ink. 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 Ink is uh, a game I actually found through Markiplier. Yeah. He played, uh, I think it was just a one-off, he played with it originally. Um, looks fun. Yeah. I've been playing it a little bit on my downtime, but it was a while ago. So. I have never tried it. So let's, uh, let's see what's going on. <laughs> let's just take the first level. Okay, so the thing about this game is that it's a it's a platformer. I think yeah, we can agree on that. It definitely looks like a platformer. But you can't see shit without inking it yourself. Ooh, hey, how did you do that? I'm just double jumping. Okay. So yeah. No, that's what it says. Yeah. There. Well, I'm smarter than the game. Woo! See it? Yeah, that's just a fucking wall jump. I mean. All right. Ooh. So that's fairly straightforward, but it's going to become like the. The rage game of our time. <laughs> See, now that every time you die, you also like expel some ink. So sometimes it's actually smart dying. I mean, unless you want to go the completionist way with it. Uh, yeah, we've had a quite exciting morning. Oh my gosh. Over here. Yeah, definitely. Um, so things can only get better. Yeah. Um, I checked my email while you arrived. Yeah. And apparently someone had hacked into my PlayStation Network account. Mm -hmm. And my EA account. That's actually how I found out, but they're like linked apparently, which I didn't even know. Yeah. Um, so. Okay. Hmm. How do I do this? Um, we'll jump in that one in the middle. So anyway, Alex got uh, hacked. Yeah, I my credit card has been hacked. Yeah. So and it's Sunday today. So I changed my passwords as much as I could because e Sony is not awake right now because Denmark. Yeah. Um. So and then I I I like closed my card, my credit card. Yeah. I guess that's what you call it. You close it. Yeah, I close it. Um, yeah, and make uh, sure that nobody can do anything with it. Yeah, because th you already got money stolen. Yeah, like 600 Danish kroner, which yeah. sucks. So I'm gonna go to the bank tomorrow and like I s I've screenshotted everything. Jesus, how much? Supposed, supposed to do that? Oh. Um, I screenshotted everything, like also my chat with the um, the guy at EA who helped me out and. I'm gonna go to the bank tomorrow and be like, hey, um, can I maybe get my money back? Because like mm. that was not my fault and I'm hoping that they'll say yes and they'll not just be like, oh, that's your own fault. Yeah. So, well, yeah. It should be possible. Yeah, I've heard that people can get like their money back when stuff like this happens. Yeah, also so. because it looks like they're trying to transfer it to another place. So, yeah. and it hasn't been transferred yet because... But I mean, like, maybe they just bought money on PlayStation... Uh, well, bought money. Maybe they bought a game on PlayStation Network and then transferred it to... Jesus! To their own account. In which case... Well, it's not... Then there's... Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, they... Um, the oh, the money are just going to PlayStation Network, but at least I'll be able to like tell my bank that it's not me and like hopefully I can get the money back. I don't know. If not, then uh, stuff. I mean, my oh my god, my dad promised me he'll give me 500 krona by the end of the month because I helped him with some stuff, some work. So at least I'll have that. Yeah, and like if if you. I mean, you got, you got us, we can help you. Yeah, I know. Like, it's more difficult talking when you're playing the game, right? I, it definitely, I'm so distracted. <laughs> oh my god. It's really pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> I just died. Okay. <laughs> Come on. But yeah, so like, ah. uh, exciting morning. Yeah. And I've never had this happen to me before, so I just did what I figured would be the best course of action. You handled it so well. Thank you. I'm so impressed because I would have handled that so badly. On the inside I was like, I need an adult, but then I realized <laughs> I am the adult. <laughs> but like, no. I know that people would like, be, want to freak out and stuff, but I'm just like, that's not gonna help my cause. I can freak out when I'm done. Right now I need to be like, level-headed so I can do stuff. Oh my god. Wow. So I can do stuff and like make sure that the damage ah. is controlled as much as possible. Yeah. So yeah, be careful with like your accounts and stuff, guys. Put but them I'm up with your with your um, phone numbers, I guess. That's what I'm gonna yeah, do as like, soon as link, I get home today. Link, link them so that like if somebody tries to change anything, you'll get a text message and only you can approve of it. But I'm also really surprised because like I opened my email. And it just says you need to kill them before you can go through. Oh my 
Yeah. You kill them by jumping on them. Uh, I, um, but my, the emails I had received from Sony and EA Games were just like, Hey, we changed your... Um, you asked for us to change your email, so we did. And I'm like, I, I didn't ask for that. And I'm surprised that they didn't like send me an, an email being like, Hey, somebody's trying to change your email. Is it you? In that case, click this link, which you usually get from like websites and stuff. Yeah, when you, when you change your password, they're like, hey, you requested it. Is that yeah. what you want? Yeah. And then you have to say, yes, that's what I want. Yeah, exactly. But I didn't get that this time, so... The security is not really good. I'm, I'm really surprised because like EA and Sony are such big companies that they should really like make sure to have that in order, I think. Yeah. And, but they didn't. So hey, hey, you're really good at this whole shit. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, be careful, guys. Okay. And um, yeah. Hopefully it'll be all right by tomorrow. I can't call my bank today because like it's Sunday. And everything is it's it's the perfect day to hack an account. Yeah, Sunday. actually it Jesus is. Jesus Christ! I gotta I gotta hand that to the hacker or whatever it is. To the asshole who did this. Yeah, screw like you, man. But but well thought out. Good got, job. But got, screw you. Yeah, gotta ah! give you that. Cool motive, still murder. Oh sheesh! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god! This is stressful. Oh my god! Yeah 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 yeah. Nine nine <laughs> nine nine. <laughs> nine. Ah! I ended up. Spending. What, the, what are you supposed to do? I don't know. I'm trying to find out by dying. Maybe you're I... supposed to go up there and then wall, hug the wall, keep wall jumping. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. Do you want me to try? No. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> I don't. Can you see how much I got this? I can totally see how much you got this. I have no idea what's going on anymore. You are. <gasps> You are a blob doing blob things. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, I can only go to the left. Night! 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 Are you sure you don't want me to take over? Let me just try one twice more. <laughs> I'm even. I don't think anyone cut that, but I'm at the controller now. That's why we're winning. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I, I say yes, I die. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ! Oh, I, I got cocky and I died. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, you is. jinxed yourself. <laughs> I totally jinxed myself. <laughs> oh man. Uh, PSN. Oh my God, yeah. I'm not dying again here. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! This is no, this is not okay. I'm not okay with this. You, you okay there? I'm fine. Look, I'm I'm totally okay. Don't jinx yourself again. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. I say it's uh, a lie. Oh my god! Don't worry, we'll play something easy like Pokemon Go later on. Pokemon Go? <laughs> I, I will play Pokemon Go, you I'm will- I'm Team Viking! No, not I'm Team Viking! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, I don't have that kind of technology. Anymore. I, um, I've been wanting to get more tattoos lately. Oh! Uh, I said that we were getting ink on the risk and it reminded me of it. Fucking hell, man! <laughs> um... Yeah, you have you have one to two. Right I now? only have one to two, and it's like small, and I want more. But like, tattoos are expensive. If you want them to be done right, you can yeah. also find cheap tattoos. But uh, mm, don't do that. No, like don't do that. It's oh hey, there's a collectible out up there. Yeah, but I am not getting that. Okay. Um, fuck. I the way I see it, sure you can get like yeah you can get your tattoo laser removed if you don't like it anymore, but best scenario is that you keep it forever. Yeah. And if you're keeping it forever, it's a lifetime commitment. And if it's a lifetime commitment, you might as well put Do some money right. put some money into it because you're yeah. going to have it forever. Yeah. Do it right when yeah. you're at it. Like pay the extra bucks to make it good yeah. and lasting. Yeah, exactly. So, I would rather save up and then spend a lot of money on a tattoo that I know I'll be happy with. And like that's not to shit on anybody who gets cheap tattoos. Like, you can get really cheap tattoos when you're out traveling in, like, Turkey or whatever. A lot of people do that. That's just not for me. At all. And then, if you don't like it, you have to spend extra money getting it removed. Either getting it removed or getting it touched up when you come back. Yeah. Like... Because sometimes, I've, I've heard of people, like, getting tattoos that they aren't happy with. And then when they come back from where they've been traveling, whatever, they'll have to, like, go and get it touched up and sometimes that'll be even more expensive than if you just got done properly in the first place. Yeah. So like, really, 
you, your tattoo doesn't have to mean anything. You don't have to think too much about that, but think about where you're getting it. And like, is the place proper? And like, yeah. you can really just Google, like, getting my first tattoo. And there'll be like, you know, small checklists of what should your tattoo parlor have and like, hygiene stuff and all that, right? And it's just like, it's so easy, but it's, it's so important. <laughs> One's an easy and important thing. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I kind of wanted to do, but on the other hand, I, I'm not good at committing to anything. <laughs> you want me to do that? Let me try once more. Okay. No, no, uh, fuck it. Okay. Yeah. Your turn. Um, yeah, because it's really, it's really a commitment. Okay. I think, personally. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> um, there you go. But hey, as long as you're happy with your tattoo, that's the most important part. Yeah. Um... Screw what everybody else says. Like, I would like to get like to two sleeves at some point. Honestly, Ooh, yeah. I really want to get inked up. That's probably like still a relic from my emo days. <laughs> um, I have a whole list of tattoos I want to get done, and they are tattoos I've been thinking about for like plus six years now. So you know, it's not like I'm just gonna change my mind all of a sudden. Yeah. Um, but the place I want to be buried. Eh. I don't know. Yeah, 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 you fucking did it! I did nice. it! Nice! You did I the thing! I did it! We yeah. are alive! Yeah! Yeah! Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with my tattoo, and I can only like tell people, like, if you want to get a tattoo, fucking do it. Like, don't be super afraid of the pain either, because I got my tattoo on my, on my rib cage, like on the side. Yeah? Which is apparently one of the most painful places to get a tattoo. It is? Yeah, because like, the less fat there is, and like muscle, the closer it is to the bone, oh. the more painful it's gonna be. Okay. Um, that's a general rule of thumb. Um, and on your rep cage, that's like one of the places that's like the worst. Like, if people make infographics, they usually color it like, this is a place where you're gonna pass out, maybe. And I'm like, eh, it wasn't that bad, honestly. Uh, Emily went with me, and I hold, I held her hand, and I had a hand in my hair. To, like distract me from the pain, but that was it. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. And if that's like one of the worst places, then eh, it's fucking. Do you have high pain tolerance? I don't know if I do. Maybe I do. I don't know. But like, also, I had made sure to like I was I was hydrated. Yeah. I had had something to eat, which is important because like if you're you have to this and something to eat, yeah, and, and then, then we, we go, go for a whole side lesson. lesson. <laughs> um, <laughs> One of the things that are important when you get a tattoo is that you're um, you're healthy at the time, yeah. Because you're gonna be under a lot of pain for a while, depending on how much of it, like how big and what, how much work it is. Well, you're gonna get hurt, so be yeah. healthy, so yeah. you can get over it. Definitely have something to eat and something to drink before, or, because if not, then you can pass out. Actually, it's a thing. Yeah. And also, um, when I made the tattoo appointment, uh, she was like, "Oh, but like it's." So that's not gonna take long. I can take you right now, but I was I was about to get the flu at the time And I could tell that I was about to get the flu and I told her I think I'm I'm about to get sick So maybe we should wait like two weeks. So I'm I'm okay again yeah. And She was like that's really good that you know that because if you're about to get sick then your immune tolerance, whatever thing, is not as good as it should be and that will like make it more difficult for your tattoo to heal. Yeah. So like, make Oh sure my god! Oh, oh here. My turn. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> so like, yeah, just make sure you're okay at the time you get the tattoo and like, don't, don't drink beforehand. Oh yeah. Because one, you can't make good decisions if you're drunk. <laughs> Two, if you have been drinking, your blood is thinner. And you will bleed when you get a tattoo. That's just that's just how it is. You really? Yeah, you bleed a little bit when you get a tattoo because it, it pierces the yeah, skin. Yeah, I know you, know you bleed. Yeah, and if you have been drinking, your blood will be thinner because so there's blue. alcohol in it, so you'll bleed even more. Oh, jeez. Which is bad because then the tattoo artist will have a harder time tattooing you, yeah. and that means there can be mistakes. Yeah. So don't don't drink beforehand. Also, a good way to avoid um, getting tattoos while influenced. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and also, like, sure, you can bring a friend, but don't bring, like, your whole friend group. Don't bring a horde. Yeah, because, like, the tattoo artist needs to concentrate, and if there are, like, 15 people around <laughs> you looking at you and taking pictures and being like, oh, <laughs> then of course your tattoo, your tattoo artist is gonna be distracted by that. And 
again, that can make for mistakes. Yeah. And you'll be wearing this for the rest of your life. Forever. Yeah. Uh, I'm a get. <laughs> you you okay there? I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Aww. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh well. This game. This oh come come come. Do you understand why I rage quit it at some point? Like when yeah, I, 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 I understand first? why you rage quit it. This mm. is, oh my god! Come on, I can do this. I can do this. I can. I, I I can not not no. You you're not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Come on, come on, you can do it. Good job. I can do it. I can. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. I shouldn't. I should swear. This is Team Viking. We swear all the fucking time. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck oh, me. Hold no up. Stop. Here's the Danish. Stop. That's how you know that we're ex extremely angry. Stop us. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Sorry. Oh man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> No! Don't say things! That was not my fault. Don't say things! Oh my god. Oh my god! No! no. I would hereby like to formally apologize to my neighbor. I don't care about your neighbor. Sorry, Tani. I don't care about you, Tani. Stop! 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 No. Wow. Next time I die, it's your turn. Okay. Oh my You can do it! <laughs> Shut up! My turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Wow. Great, Alex. Good job. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay. How, how, how about. Nope. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, there we go. Whew. Stressful. That's as stressful as it gets. Oh, nope. Alright. I have this. I have this weird idea, and I've had it for like many, many years, that I'm just I'm gonna be 81, and then I'm then I'm dead. I'm gonna be 81. 81? 81. Why I don't know me? why 81. It's just that's just my brain telling me 81. Boom. That's it. Well, I hope you're gonna live longer, and this is the apocalypse. Yeah. You anyway. Yeah. Maybe we're lucky, and and human extinction will come, and the earth will be saved from us. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I. I don't want to die. No. <laughs> I, w I am one of those people like, you know, when you get that rhetorical question like, oh, if you could live forever, would you? A lot of people are like, no, because I'm gonna see all my friends die and like, I'm gonna see everything change and I'm gonna be all alone. And I'm like, no, I, I would honestly like to live forever. Really? Yeah. And a lot don't of people are like, existence gets boring at the end. No, not if you keep making it interesting. I mean, you can always find new things to do, new places to see. I mean, we're in, we're in the process of like inventing space travel. People can go to Mars pretty soon. I want to do space travel. No, but like then you can go into the deep sea. I don't know. I don't care. I want to do space travel. I want to. Oh my god. Sorry. So like, you know, and people are always like, oh, but you'll lose all your friends. And I'm like, I've already lost a lot of people, and I'm okay. And yeah, you'll lose all your friends, but hopefully you'll also gain new friends. Yeah. I mean. Right now I have- you have an island trying to kick? Thank you, excuse me. Um, the people that I'm friends with right now... I don't know, maybe I'm not gonna be friends with you guys in 20 years. No. Who knows? No. I am certainly not friends with the people I was friends with in middle school. No. So, like, yeah, you're gonna see all your friends disappear, but hopefully you'll m keep making new friends. Yeah. The person you are now is not the person you're gonna stay as. So that whole thing will... Oh, you're gonna lose all your friends. Well, meh. That's gonna happen regardless. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, like, why why worry about that shit? Stop obsessing about it. I think pretty much the only reason I don't want to live forever is because I think existence will get boring and I don't really want that. Also, there's mm. not really any life without death. You know, the same way there's no light without darkness. Yeah. Oh Motherfucker! Yeah! Right oh, oh, shit! Is this a boss? Yeah, well, it's, it's kind of a boss, I think. 
Oh my god. Jump on it. Woo! Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jump on it. Kill it. It's probably Let's. like three times. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay, it's more than three times. Oh my god. Oh my no! God. god damn it. Stop. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah. I, we got achievement incapacitated. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. but yeah, like the only thing I would have like as a thing I'm thinking about about the whole living forever thing is I don't want to age because sure you can live forever, but if you're gonna be like a potato, <laughs> that's not fun. No. Then you it then transforms into an. And I must scream thing. Yeah, yeah. I have no mouth and I must scream. Yeah. Um, wouldn't want that. No. Um, God damn it. Um, so I would want to, I would want to like, not necessarily stay young, but stay in a way where I can still do things. And the whole wanting to live forever doesn't mean I wouldn't want to be able to die. Because what if the earth explodes? And I am still, like, because I'm indestructible. Yeah. So I would just be floating in space. Yeah, that's no fun. No, exactly. Or, like, maybe I would be alive but in so much pain. That wouldn't be fun either. I think the only, the only, like, um, what's, what's the word for not dying? Being alive? No. Living? No. When you're immortal. Yeah, being immortal. The only, the only proper way to be immortal, I think, is to be immune to sickness and aging. Yeah. So that really, if you get desperate enough, you can kill yourself and let it be over with. But yeah. you don't have to die. Exactly. Exactly. I agree. Wow. This shit. Spikes. Is it introducing spikes? Yeah, you can go to the right. Uh, go to the right. So you can jump over yeah. the spikes. Maybe you're There's right. There's a platform up there. Jump from there. Mm. There's also a platform to the left. Yeah, I could also do that. God damn it. Maybe jump up too so you can rest on it and then jump from all the way I'm not sure there. the angle will be right. I think the angle will be right if you jump far enough. Mm, that's true. So yeah, immortality is like... <sighs> if somebody offered me immortality, I wouldn't say yes right away. I would want to know what the conditions were. Terms and conditions! Yeah, exactly. Always I read want to read the fine print. Exactly. Always read the fine print. Yes. Do, do that anyway, like, no matter what kind of contract you're signing. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, no. By the one to the left? Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to do that. <gasps> it worked. No! So cool! Oh. Um, but... So, yeah, like... Immortality is... Immortality would be cool, but it could also be, like, terrible. Yeah, it could be terrifying, but it could... Or it could be nice, I don't know. Uh, uh, there we go, okay. Okay, so I have to make it up there. Or not. Uh, I am confused! Where is it maybe down there? No. No. Ah, I know, I have to climb that one up there. Ooh. And to the right? Yeah. Can you just jump down? Well, you can, but you have to make it. Yeah, I have to like angle it correctly. Oh, have you ever gotten this spot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I made it to like the 30s or something. I have no clue what level we're in right now. Uh, I did not count. No. But like... <sighs> immortality is weird, like, because you can be immortal in so many ways. You don't have to be alive to still be alive. Wait. <laughs> That makes no sense. But like, you know, through your work and stuff and through people remembering you. And honestly, um, I recently, recently, I did my exam on uh, Norse mythology. And uh, I did it on Loki. Oh yeah. And it was really cool. Yeah. And um, Loki as a god does not serve a function the same way that Odin does, or Thor, or Frey. No? Because Frey, Freyr, is the god of fertility. Or, well, he's one of the fertility gods. Frey, not Freya. Frey and Freyr. Freya and Freyr are both fertility gods. There are two I, of them. Isn't their name Freya and Frey? Yeah, Freyr. There's an, there's an R at the end if you're doing it Old Norse style. But you're but not yeah. supposed to. 
Freya, yeah, but yo, uh, yeah, in the uh, in old Norse you are. Um, good thing we're not being yeah. Norse. Um, Ooh. but yeah, so like, oh, um, they're fertility gods, and like Odin is a god of wisdom and of one of the gods of war and stuff like that. He's the most terrible god of war. Be careful with that. Yeah, but well, you know, um, Loki doesn't serve a function the same way that they do, and like um, a dude named Georges de Musil made uh, something called the tripartite system which is like you know god of war and wisdom and god of uh, warriors like a warrior god and then the uh, fertility gods and so on yeah. and you can basically put in a lot of indo-european religions religious gods into the tripartite system yeah and he based some of it off on Old Norse, but he forgot to take Loki into account. But yeah. some people say that Loki is an anti-functional god. But there was this one guy who said that Loki could be the god of um, skjalds. Skjalds are um, uh, poets. A poet guy? Yeah, poetry. And then some people might say, but wait, isn't that Odin? Because Odin is the one with the um, the, po the meta poetry. Yeah. Um, which is correct. But... Loki fulfills a function because he is the one who makes sure that Odin is remembered. Because um, Odin seeks all kinds of wisdom. Yeah. Which is why he mixed his blood with Loki's. Yeah, so they become blood brothers. Yeah, because Loki has something called numinous knowledge, which is knowledge that is usually hidden away. Um, and Lo Loki has that because he is a Jotun who hid underground, which means in hell. Not the hell with like the fire and all that. No, Norse hell. Yeah, hell. Um, he hid under there for eight winters and bore children. And knows, um, he knows about witchcraft, which you are not supposed to if you are a male. Um, and he taught that to Odin. Presumably through the mixing of blood. Um, so he has given him knowledge, which is something Odin should be remembered for. Then he makes sure that he dies, which is why he should be remembered. Because Loki is the, um, the father of the Fenris wolf, Fenrir, who is the one who eats Odin yeah. during Ragnarok. And... Loki makes sure that there is somebody to remember him, because Loki kills Baldr, um, which is also the beginning of Ragnarok, which means that Baldr isn't participating in Ragnarok, he is in the new world that comes afterwards, because yeah. it's a cycle. And he, it's said that Baldr and some other gods are gathering under Yggdrasil, and talking about Odin. So he makes sure that there's something to be remembered, a reason to remember, and somebody to remember. Yeah. Which is also what the uh, the scouts does, like the poets, because they would do this with the uh, with kings mm. and like the, the court. They would be like they would tell about someone who has done something important and they will remember them. Yeah. So maybe Loki is the god of the poets, but he, there was no cult to um, to like make offerings or anything like there was for Odin and Freyr and Thor and whatever. Yeah. So he's a god without a cult, and therefore maybe also a god without a function. And like, I like the theory. I don't know if it's right. Yeah. But it's definitely something interesting to take into account when you're looking at Loki as a character. And Loki is. In my opinion, the most interesting character in the whole Norse mythology. Oh, he's definitely my favorite. He is incredibly interesting. He is incredibly ambivalent, and he's also the character of most of what happens in yeah. the stories. He he makes things happen. Exactly. He is the catalyst, yeah. and it's it's really interesting. Also, like um, I'm about to start my fifth semester. Yeah. Uh, I'm studying the science of religion. And I'm not about. I'm not going to do my bachelor's until my seventh semester, but I have already figured out what I want to do my bachelor on, mm. and I want to do it on Loki, going from um, myth to mainstream. Myth to mainstream. Myth to mainstream is probably going to be something along the lines of that in the title, um, 
Because the Loki we see in the original myths and the Loki we see now in mainstream media are very different and I want to find out how they changed and why. Yeah, because you, Loki we see like in in Marvel it's, and it's, you and, you can't really you know Marvel no but you know things. he's he's still like he has he has some traits and like actually like the MCU the Marvel Cinematic Universe has like totally fucked it up <laughs> nothing's correct but there is um, this really really good comic Alex put it up yeah yeah um, where it actually follows quite well some of the Norse mythology while still like bending the family trees and whatever. Um, in the Marvel Universe or in, you know, the, da the Danish? The, the, well, the, the Norse. The, um, the Danish comic Valhalla is yeah. also a way to, um, to look at Loki as mainstream by now. Um, and often in mainstream media he's portrayed as this kind of anti-hero, tragic, <laughs> who wants to do things right but he always fucks it up. He wants to do things right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not really the Loki we see in the original myths. And I wanna really like look into that more. So like hopefully I, my bachelor's will get approved and I will be doing research for my bachelor's by reading comics and reading books and yeah. watching movies and well I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Because Loki is so fucking interesting. Like it was difficult for me to write okay. my exam on Loki, but I had a good time doing it. Yeah. Because it's just like all these theories. Loki is definitely the most uh, like theorized person in Norse mythology by now, yeah. like academically. Yeah. And nobody can agree on him. No. At all. Like actually, my um, my professor Jens Peter Schutt mm -hmm. is one of the leading theorists, professors, researchers, whatever in Norse mythology, like in the world. It's yeah. really weird that I'm getting taught stuff by him. <laughs> and he opens one of his papers on Loki, which is just called About Loki, yet again. Yes again! <laughs> <laughs> um, he opens that paper just by saying, Loki is one of the most researched people in Norse mythology and nobody can agree on anything. <laughs> That's what he opens it with and I'm just like, wow. It's ballsy and I love it. Yeah. Um, Jens Peter Schutt is a fantastic human being. <laughs> Um, so yeah, nobody's ever like gonna make anything conclusive about Loki. I refuse to believe that. Yeah. Because we don't have a whole lot of like material to go on. But th th the stuff we do have can be interpreted in a lot of different ways. But still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't try and like find out stuff about him, even though we can't ever like be really sure. <gasps> no! Oh, so fucking close, dude! Oh my god, I was being so careful too. Stop, 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 stop! I'm sorry I rambled on about Loki, I just... <sighs> I'm not telling you to stop, it's no, fine. No, no, He's no, like, no, no, I'm, I'm really invested in Loki too. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm saying sorry to the, the, the viewers, oh, if they are even still here, if they didn't click <laughs> out of the video by now. But yeah, I'm, oh, I'm just, sometimes I really forget why I'm studying the science of religion, but then I remember Loki. And then I'm like, oh, right, right, he's one of the reasons, one of the many, many reasons. It's good shit. Good shit right there. Good job, Loki. Mm -hmm. No, I like, I like religions with more than one god because it's so much more interesting. Yeah, polytheism. Yeah. yeah. Good going. Yeah. I wish I knew more about, you know, Egyptian. Oh, Egyptian religion is super interesting. I was so sad that we didn't have, um, and that we couldn't use it as a chosen subject. Egyptian religion. I think. Are you going to learn about it? Because I know next to nothing, and I really want to um, learn about it. I think I had the opportunity at one point, but then I didn't grab it. And now, maybe I'll be able to during my seventh semester. I can take like three chosen subjects on the side. Hopefully, it'll be offered by then. Um, because Egyptian religion is really cool. Yeah. I have a book. It's kind of like an encyclopedia, where it touches upon. Uh, Egyptian religion in one of the chapters, so you can borrow that if you want. Yeah. Um, Egyptian religion is really cool. Boo! Yeah, nice! What? You're doing so good! Thank you. I am not gonna get that hard. I might as well no, say that now. Yeah, I am not gonna. Don't even try. Oh. Ah! Oh my god! Okay, okay. I'm it's so not, it's right not that. It's not so bad. <laughs> I changed myself. Okay. Ooh. 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 Eh. Eh. Uh. 
Don't jinx me. God damn okay, it. You can't, you can't do it. I'm not gonna say anything. Okay. Whew. So far, so good. Let's see now. 